if someone were to ask me what the most disturbing book I ever read was, I have a new answer. It is Let's Go Play at the Adams. My name is Ryan LeBee. I am a horror writer and also a reviewer of all things spooky. Massive trigger warning. The book I'm about to discuss uh, contains essay and a ton of other triggering things I'm going to list right here. And if that is not what you're into or you're triggered, please skip this video. Let's Go Play at the Adams was written by Mendel W. Johnson was originally released in 1974. The plot begins when Mr. and Mrs. Adams leave their children, 12-year-old Bobby and 10-year-old Cindy, in the care of college student Barbara. After a long day of taking the children swimming, Barbara wakes up the next morning to find herself bound to a chair and gagged. It would seem that Bobby and Cindy have taken the first move in a sick game that has been set up by the neighbor children, Paul, Diane, and John. What transpires is one of the most gut-wrenching and and yet philosophical like horror novels I have ever read. The story is told in a third person narrative, so we spend a lot of time in these five children's brains, ranging from 10 years old all the way up to 17 years old. Each have their own dark desires and motives. We also spend a lot of time in the babysitter Barbara's head, which is some of the most heartbreaking passages in the novel. For those used to reading dark and disturbing books, the plot sounds similar to Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door. While Ketchum's book is very nihilistic and brutal, Let's Go Play at the Adams transcends pure nihilism and brutality and crescendos to a unforgettable and in some ways beautiful ending that I will never forget. I also don't imagine I will ever read this book again, but I don't think I need to. And again, this book is not for everyone. It depicts graphic violence and abuse in vivid detail and should not be read or approached lightly. And for that very reason, 